Let us start with a brief explanation of MIME. A website serves a static resource only if it knows the MIME type of a file. For example, a website can stream an MP4 video because it already knows its MIME type. INA is an organization that has the official registry of MIME media types. It maintains a list of all the official MIME types. You can visit their website to know more about it. Coming now to the ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core already understands about 400 file extensions and their MIME types. As an example, the MIME type for MP3 audio files is audio slash MPEG. And an ASP website can stream music files without any additional settings because MP3 is a part of that list. But what happens if we have to deal with a file whose extension is something new? An extension that is unknown to the website? The solution is to add a mime for the new, unknown extension. So that ASP.NET Core website can serve it happily? Let us suppose we have a new file type ABC and its mime type is text slash HTML. And let us also suppose that this file is a static file in our web root folder is shown. Our website will not serve this file because the extension ABC is not in its list. Run the program to verify that the file is not served. Next, let us see how to add the MIME type for ABC extension. First, you will need a file extension type provider. This class contains a mappings property that already contains the entire list of 400 MIME types. We have to extend that list by adding an additional extension and its MIME type. As you can see, we have to add our ABC extension to the mappings property in the manner shown. Finally, the provider is attached to the use static files middleware as shown. Run the program now and verify that the resource gets served now. This is the completed code that you can obtain by writing to us.